Hello guys, good morning. So um, today is April the 6th, right? And we are going to be going back to um, something we covered in unit three, and that is photosynthesis. Now, just to you know, have you remember what photosynthesis is and where it happens. So the organ of, of um, the plant where photosynthesis happens is the leaves. Okay, some are going to be flat and others are going to have different shapes. So photosynthesis is the process by which plants use radiant energy, so energy from the sun, to make food from carbon dioxide that we as humans release and H2O, which is water that they get from the roots, right? So um, this process takes place inside of the plants, um, plant cells and the chloroplast. But today what we're going to focus on is the actual concept of photosynthesis and the chemistry behind photosynthesis. So let's get started, guys. So we said that one of the reactants right, or something that you need, so I'm going to put here reactants, okay, reactants, the first one is going to be, and we have it right next to our reactant, is going to be radiant energy. And if you remember from sixth grade, radiant energy is solar energy. So I'm going to draw, we're getting this energy right here. And our plant is going to be using it for photosynthesis. Okay, so that's one of the reactants. The second reactant we talked about is something that we exhale, and that is going to be carbon dioxide. And that is CO2. And again, our plant is going to be getting this carbon dioxide into the plant through the leaves. And if we remember from unit three, they come in through the stomata. Okay, so let's draw another arrow. And the third reactant is going to be water. That is H. To O, and that is going to be, um, you know, absorbed by the plant's roots. So I'm going to draw a little arrow. Because the roots are the ones that are in charge of getting this water. So those are our reactants. So because radiant energy is coming from the sun, I'm going to be coloring that one, that arrow in yellow as well as my sun. Okay. Um, and then, of course, our water, I'm going to put it in blue because it's getting absorbed by our roots. And then our carbon dioxide is going to be, I'm going to draw that little arrow in gray. Let me just get a light gray. <clears throat>
Okay, so we already have in our plant our reactants. Now, what are we going to get out of this? Okay, what is a plant going to do inside of the chloroplast as a result of adding these three reactants? Well, those are actually called products. So I'm going to put them on this side. So again, remember that photosynthesis happens in the leaf. So as a product, we are going to be getting, number one, oxygen. And that's what we need, right? We breathe in oxygen, so that's O2. So the leaf is going to give us oxygen. The second thing that the leaf is going to produce, and that is basically their food, that is going to be glucose. And here comes that formula, C6H12O6. Okay, and remember that sugar, I'm gonna put it right here sugar it doesn't release it out to um, the environment it keeps it in because that is their source of energy sugar and then of course we're going to have water and that is h2o through transpiration Okay, water vapor. And that is going to be released by the stomata found underneath the leaves. Okay, and remember, I don't know, I hope you remember that video that I showed you in class of transpiration in a, I think it was in a jungle or a forest, and you could see, you know, how the water vapor was leaving the mass amount of plants that were found in that area. So for our oxygen, I'm going to color it red. So my arrow is going to be red. And again, we animals use, oops, I'll fix that later oxygen okay glucose i'm going to color it orange i'm just going to color this leaf orange or half the leaf but let's make it like that okay because sugar is staying inside of the plant and then of course our water is going to be blue Right, but this is in the form of water vapor. Of course, I'm going to go back and I'm going to color in all of these leaves and stems. I'm going to come back also and I'm going to color my title. <clears throat> okay, so we've got the actual concept of photosynthesis. We use radiant energy from the sun, carbon dioxide, water, and the plant's going to do the whole work and, and it's going to produce oxygen that we're going to take in, glucose that stays in the plant, and water that gets, you know, um, lost through transpiration. Well, now we're going to go in smaller and we're going to learn about the chemistry of photosynthesis. Now, I've 
already provided you with the formula. And if you go back on your notes, we have the formula there as well. So photosynthesis chemistry, okay? So we know that we have carbon dioxide, water, we get glucose, oxygen, and a little bit more of water out of this. But it doesn't add up if I count the C's and the O's and the H's and the O's. It will never add up unless I have a different amount of molecules of carbon dioxide compared to oxygen. So let's start off with carbon dioxide. It says I have six molecules of carbon dioxide. So I'm going to draw right here the carbon and I have two oxygens. I'm going to make them a little bit smaller. Okay, this is a carbon dioxide molecule. Okay, and I'm going to have carbon in gray. And I'm going to have oxygen in red. So all of my oxygens are going to be red. All of my carbons are going to be gray. Okay, let me zoom into this. Okay, we're going to start right here. So how many of these molecules do I need? Well, I need six of them. So I'm going to draw five more. One, two, three, four, five. So in total, I'll be having six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I need to draw my oxygen. So I'm going to make them smaller. And now that I've already drawn my molecules, I'm going to go and color them. And it is really important that you're color coding these molecules. If not, we're not going to know what each little circle represents. And I'm going to put my C in gray so that way I remember that the one that's in gray is the carbon. And then my oxygen is going to be in red. Okay, so we've got six molecules of carbon dioxide. Now, it says I need 12 water molecules. And the way that in chemistry we draw water is we have our oxygen because we have one oxygen in each molecule of water. And we've got two hydrogens. And again, if I go back, my oxygen is supposed to be red. And I'm going to put my hydrogens in blue. So I've got their one water molecule. Now I need to make 11 more of those. You could think about it as an upside down Mickey Mouse. 
And again, I need to go back and color code my water molecules. I'm just going to put a, a dot like this right now. And I'll go back and color them. Okay, so we have 12 molecules of water now. Now, this arrow, we're needing still one more reactant. And this arrow is going to give us that reactant or that energy that we need, and that is our radiant energy. And that is our sunlight. And I'm just going to put it, the word that I want you to start using now is radiant energy. Radiant energy. <clears throat> so... Now, as a result, I'm going to get, you know, the sugar that the plant needs. I'm going to get oxygen that we as animals need and the water through transpiration. Now, we're still going to follow this same color scheme that we have over here for the carbon, for the oxygen, for the hydrogen. And those are the only elements that are getting used, right, but in different quantities now. So the first one is going to be our glucose, which takes in six carbons, 12 hydrogens, and six oxygens. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my carbons and my oxygens. Okay, so I'm not done yet, but before I start getting confused, again, my carbons are going to be in gray. I have one right here, two, three, four, five, and six. So I've used up all my six carbons. Okay. My oxygens, I had them in red. And I have right now one oxygen, two oxygens. Okay. Now I need to draw in my other four more oxygens. <clears throat> one. Two, three, and four. Let me move it up. Okay. 
So according to my formula, I need six oxygens and six carbons. I've got my six carbons. I've got my six oxygens. Now, I need 12 hydrogens. Okay, so I've got one little hydrogen, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And again, our hydrogens, I had them in blue. Okay, and I do want to congratulate you because you've drawn your first glucose molecule and I'm going to label it right here underneath. Glucose molecule. glucose molecule. So you've drawn your first glucose molecule. And we only need one of those. We're done. It says we need six oxygen molecules. So it's two O's together, two oxygen. So we've got one glucose molecule. I'm sorry, one oxygen molecule. Two, three, four, five, and six. Now again, our color for oxygen is going to be red. So, you've got six oxygen molecules plus six waters. So we already know how to draw our water. And we're going to draw six of those right here. And remember that this water is lost through transpiration. Okay, and our oxygen again is in red. So now I'm going to show you something to prove that we've done this correctly. And this goes all the way back to my chemistry teacher. Um, and he taught me this really, really cool trick. So he would tell me and he would make us color code everything. He would say, how many of this do you have? How many of that do you have? Color code it and make sure it adds up after your arrow and then you have the same amount if not you did something wrong okay so i'm going to put right here underneath little boxes so in our reactant side i have how many oxygen so i've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four so I've got 24 oxygens. And I'll go back and color this. 
how many carbons do I have? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six carbons. Six carbons. And I have how many hydrogens? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. We've got 24. Hydrogens. Okay, that's the total that I have on my reactants side. So when I go to my products, I should have 24 oxygens, 6 carbons, and 24 hydrogens. So let's see if we did the math correct. Now I'm going to put it on this side where I have space. Products. Okay, I said 24 oxygens, and those are in red, so let's start off. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Yep, 24 oxygens. I got that right. I should have six carbons, so let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six carbons. Yep, six carbons. Got that one right. And I need 24 hydrogens. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Okay. So yes, our reactants, or the amount of reactants that we started off with does equal the same amount of products that we ended up with. So our molecule is balanced, okay? And of course, I'm gonna, I'll color all of this, which is my glucose molecule, just so that we have the same colors that we used on top. I'll have that orange at the end. I will be posting this um, page finished off today or by the end of today on the notes um, so that way you guys have access to this image because there is a lot, a lot, a lot of detail into it, especially with the molecules and the chemistry of it. Um, besides that, guys, that is it for today. Have a wonderful afternoon. Your instructions for today will be posted on today's general post. You do have an exit ticket. You do have independent practice and you have IXL homework. And everything is explained there. Regardless, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me. You know, you can message me through the chat or you can send me a reminder. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow.